Hi Kinders, um, back for some math today. So I want to start with, I'm hoping you still have your baggie of numbers. I'm, I'm really hoping. If you don't have your baggie of numbers, then you might need to make a baggie of numbers, all right? I'll send some more numbers next week, but I don't have them in your packet this week. So um, after the video, find your baggie or make a baggie. I'm going to show you what I want you to do. Sorry, I'm talking as I'm moving my camera down. That is very strange. All right, I'm going to take out my numbers. And I have my numbers to seven now, so I want to put them in order. I'm going to put them in order. One. I always do it so you can see, but you would do it facing yourself. One. Two. What's after two? Three, four, one, two, three, four. One more than four. Next number, five. Oops. It's not really room for all the numbers I want to put on here. Five, six. What number comes after? Six. Seven. Let's see if you can see number seven there. I'll move it back just a touch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It is very good practice to take your numbers, mix them up, and then try and put them in order. You can try and find them one at a time. There's one, and I could look for two. Or I could even take a number like six and say, hmm, I wonder where it might go. I'm going to guess here, because there's some other numbers in between. Seven. Oh, seven is my last number. One, two, three, four. Oh, what's the missing number? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's a game I would like you to practice today. Find your baggie, get your numbers to seven, and practice putting them in order. If you don't have them, you can write them out on cards and put them in order or on scraps of paper. I know you are quite, quite clever. All right. Hazel knows you can do it too. Don't you, Hazel? Alrighty, our math page today is kind of fun. It says, draw five ice cream cones. Oh, now that is something I can do because I like ice cream cones. You know, a nice way of drawing a cone is to think about a triangle because cones have this sort of triangle shape. Can you see that? I hope so. And then I put a ball on top. Make another, how many am I doing? Oh, five. One, I'm doing five. It says draw five. One, two, three, Lots of upside down triangles. Four, five, five. Oh, but then it tells me to do something else. That was the first instruction. Here's the second instruction. Draw one more ice cream cone. I have five. I have to draw one more. Hmm, how many do I have now? Let's count them. I could even put my numbers on it. One, two, three, four, five. That was my five, and then I did one more, so that is six. Ha! Huh. I wonder what flavors my ice cream should be. Maybe I like my son, Daniel, likes mint chocolate chip, so I could do a green one and put some 
I've got my crayon, so remember, one crayon at a time, we take good care of our materials. Looking for a black to put on the chocolate chips or a dark brown. Here we go, here's a brown. I'm going to put some chocolate chips on there. <laughs> Mint chocolate chip. What's your favorite flavor? You can color your ice cream cones. All right, that is one page for math, and there is one more. It says, draw, look at it, and then draw one more. So I see, I don't even know what these are. Are these flowers or some sort of something or other? Fluffy things, I'm gonna draw one more. I drew one more, now I count them. One, two, three. Around the tree, around the tree. That's the way to make a three. Okay, I see three faces, draw one more. Draw another face. And how many? Down across and down some more. That's the way to make a four. We can count them, one, two, three, four. So each time you draw one more. And then this says draw six fingers. Ooh, six fingers. Draw six beads around, I always forget how we say it, around the hoop and make a loop. That's a six, around the hoop and make a loop. There it is, it's very curly. All right, have fun with your math today. Don't forget to do a baggie of numbers and put them in order. Do that three times, test yourself. You know. If you don't have your numbers, another thing that would work really well is just some playing cards. You could find, if you use the aces one, you could do your numbers to seven and you could mix up the cards and put them in order. All right. Have a great Monday. Bye.